Hey, what's up? Coming to you from the great state of Michigan. It's another episode of Urbex, this time in Benton Harbor, Michigan. Yeah, kind of the crappy part of Michigan, I will admit that. We have the nearly abandoned Orchards Mall right there. Then we have this abandoned, um, what is this? A, this is a Texas Corral. So let's go take a look at the Texas Corral. We'll do the mall in a separate video. So yeah, there you go. There is your abandoned Texas Corral. You can see the sign is way up here. Probably not going to get into this place, but still it is really cool to see one of these. Um, I've heard of these restaurants. I've never eaten at one of them before. I don't think I've ever seen an open one. There you can get a better look at the sign. Of course, there's all this snow in the parking lot because they had a lake effect snowstorm and it has to be windy today too i mean we're right off the lake but look at that there is their sign wow yeah this this restaurant was kind of iconic for the um water tower that would be up on top and i don't know if you can kind of see let's zoom in So yeah, you could kind of see up there the um, water tower that sits up there has neon on it that would say uh, Texas Corral. I'm going to try and go up to one of the windows so you can get a look inside, but I don't know if that's going to be very successful. Yeah, this is, sometimes I like coming to these um, kind of, I'm going to say ghetto -y areas because you'll find all the abandoned stuff like the restaurant we're looking at here, the mall, pretty much abandoned. There was only like a couple of stores open in that mall and I was like one of the only ones in there. I was just like, whoa, this is creepy. It was kind of creepy, but um, anyways, I think all the windows are got the blinds on them, but we're gonna check at least one of them. All right, let's see if I can get up here without dying because I did bring shoes, but I didn't really feel like putting shoes on. I don't like driving for hours at a time with shoes on. Your feet get all sweaty and gross. Oh, look, what is this, deer? That looks too big to be deer. That looks like moose or elk or something. I don't know, but we should be able to get a little look here. Oh, wow. It still has power on. Not going to attempt to go in there, even though I can't because all the doors are locked. Ah, gosh darn it, that sun is murderous. That's why I hate filming in the wintertime because by the time you get out filming, even if you start real early, the sun just sets so early, it's always in that bad spot. But you can see the mall back over there. Oh, hey, we might get another peek inside through this door up here. And this is, of course, there's more of those tracks. They look, they just look huge. I don't know. All this stuff is like melted and then frozen back over. Holy crap, that wind is cold. Yikes. I don't think all the layers in the world would fix that. Oh, the building's falling down already. Oh, wow. Yeah, sorry, the glass is real dirty. Let's see if that's, that's a little bit better, but not really. And then this would have been the back of your restaurant that um, had wheelchair access. Some restaurants used to have like wheelchair access to them where you could like, you know, a separate entrance for wheelchair, but there's another look inside. Wow, that is super cool. All right, so there is another abandoned restaurant. I think it's an IHOP, but it didn't look like an IHOP, but the sign definitely was an IHOP. Anyways, it's like across the street. We're going to try and check that out. Um, I'll probably combine it with this video or, you know, whatever, because this isn't very long checking out these restaurants. And I don't want to be like some other YouTubers that just turn the camera on and just record, record, record. And you're like, why are we just, you know, I don't know. Just doesn't make sense to have like a 10 to 20 minute long video on an abandoned restaurant like this that really, how much is there to see? But anyways... On to our next location if I'm combining these. Hello, you guys, and welcome back to another windy day here on Urbex in Benton Harbor, Michigan. I know in another video where I was filming the uh, Texas Corral, I said that this was a um, IHOP, an IHOP, but you can see the IHOP is over there and it is still in business. And 
This is actually a Hardee's, and we're gonna get to go inside and check it out. The sun is screwing things up, the wind is screwing things up, and it smells like straight up weed outside here, but you know what? We're having a good time. That's where the main sign was. And then if we pan around, you'll get your first look at the actual restaurant. You can see the sign up there where it would have had the, uh, the little Hardee's slash Carl Jr. smiling at you, the little star. Cool find here to see an abandoned. I did explore an abandoned one in Missouri that still had everything left inside. That was pretty fascinating. And I mean, like you could have just walked right inside of that one and I did. But this would have been your drive through window. Sorry if the video is a little shaky. It is freezing out here and I'm trying to dodge all of the snow piles. Really big drive through. I'm not gonna go film anything around the back. I've already been back there and it's all just there's no menu boards, there's no nothing to see back there, so. I was very surprised when I went around the backside to find that the door was just completely unlocked and left open. Now, of course, when I entered inside, I was hoping that there would be something cool to see, something left behind, maybe the entire restaurant frozen in time. Unfortunately, my hopes and dreams were quickly dashed because, oh boy, was it a disaster. It almost looked like someone had come in and they were planning to gut the place and renovate it and turn it into something else, and then they just halfway through were like, oh, just screw it, it's not worth it, and they just kind of gave up and abandoned the place. Because, unfortunately, there's not much left to see of the restaurant itself. There were a few remnants here and there that maybe if you, like, squint really hard and you, like, you know, put on some special glasses, you can be like, oh, yeah, that looks maybe like a Hardee's. But then I was like, I'm not really all that familiar with Hardee's because we don't have a ton of them throughout Ohio. I don't know. They are good. I do like their food. Leave a comment down below. What are your thoughts on Hardee's? Do you like them? Do you hate them? Oh, and for those of you out on the West Coast, Carl's Jr., because it's the same company. Yeah, see, I think this was one of the menu boards that would hang above the counter, and then it would be lit up, and you'd put the, like, you know, menus inside of it, and also this was part of, like, the booths, maybe the back to a booth or something, but I don't know. I've never seen booths at a Hardee's that looked like that. Thanks for coming along to take a <laughs> blooper. <laughs> Thanks for coming along to take a look at a few of these abandoned places here in Benton Harbor, Michigan. If you like the content you see here, then why not subscribe and give the video a thumbs up. Click the uh, the little heart so that you get notified about future upcoming videos. What well, I can't talk today, anyways. I have a Patreon as well that has all kinds of exclusive content as well as all of this content without any of the annoying YouTube ads. So check that out. Link in the description box below. That's going to do it here from Benton Harbor, Michigan. I'll see you in the next video.